So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. We are back with UFL for this one because they've come out with a new journey video, which is quite nice. They talk about cutscenes, AI, how they're kind of working, you know, the skeleton models for the players, really in-depth stuff that I love to see. Uh, and it's just nice to get that raw footage, you know, no holes barred, not letting anything by and just giving us the fruits of labor, right? Just give us some basic stuff that we can understand which direction you're going to take a game. Regarding that, well, eFootball, different side of the spectrum. I'm going to do a completely different video for eFootball, talking about the game itself, how things are changing, folks. And people like myself, like you guys, if you are the minority that enjoys playing offline, it's hard to come by. Look... Louis' face. Uh, it's hard to talk about now because there's just very bare minimum offline stuff to do these days. And it's why I've kind of taken a little bit of a break. But anyway, I'm going to let this video run and then I'll talk about that stuff in another video and dissect it all and go over eFootball. Uh, but a lot of you guys have to realize that eFootball is, is, is eFootball. It's not Pez and Pez is done. We all know that now, and that is what it is, right? So anyway, UFL, a different approach. They're very, very organic with the way they're doing things. You know, they're showing us them developing the game as a whole. Uh, and we've got eight minutes of footage here that I have stripped out um, from the actual proper journey. So if you want to check that out, go for it, because they, they talk about things and all that. But I've strictly got... Any kind of gameplay, cut scenes, you know, stuff that's worthwhile personally to look at. Uh, not to say the Journey video itself is not worthwhile listening to, because it is. The developers do give you good insight of the direction they want to take the game. Uh, and I'm actually quite liking it because... You're going to see a lot of cutscenes throughout this video, right? A lot of them. And that is something they are working on. Efootball and Konami, I mean, we don't really have any cutscenes, right? It's very bare minimum. Excuse me, Wavelink. We're ruining my video. It's very bare minimum. And they've just they've lost that knack haven't they with uh, with eFootball they're just that's the way they're going with things it's more about events it's more about making the revenue and I understand that but they're kind of forgetting as well about what football is right and this is what UFL are doing they're focusing on broadcasts type stuff so if you see a bunch of cutscenes in real life which you see all the time whether they're taking a corner whether they're taking a set piece or a penalty or a throw in or someone's got injured and there's a yellow card, a red card, you always obviously get some sort of a broadcast feel to it. And that's what UFL, or the developers, the creators, the designers, are going for. And you can see that by this footage. It's come a long way, folks. They did state this game is about 80% ready to roll at this current time. But that's just a launch, right? After that, then they're going to start adding more and more to the game. We talk about modes and events of eFootball, and we say there isn't enough content. Right, well, that is a problem. So eFootball, not eFootball, UFL, there's too many football names. UFL need to understand that, that we want content to play, of course. We, just, we want solid gameplay. Uh, and having the cutscenes and all that is fantastic, but you've got to add some content in there uh, as well. Uh, it does stay at the bottom there, obviously in-game footage, work in progress. And on the other side, I'm blocking my view, but it does say all facial images are fictitious due to legal reasons, right? So don't be expecting to see the likes of Ronaldo uh, in this game because they just will not have uh, his legal rights. But you can see there, it looks great. You know, they've really, and you'll, you'll get a better flavor at the end of this video uh, when they kind of show you the player models. Now, an interesting thing they were talking about here is you'll get the same cutscene every time. Watch, it's the same kind of cutscene, but he's giving out different cards. It was a red card, a yellow card, and this time... He's not even going to get a card. He's just getting a talking to. So that's what they've kind of added to the game. There's a var different variety, whether you're having a substitute or a yellow, red card, etc. You can have the same cutscene, but different outcomes. And one thing they did mention is they wanted to make it that when you are getting booked or maybe getting booked, you don't know uh, what the referee is going to give you. Like sometimes in a lot of games, it's predetermined, right? If you do you, the same animation every time and you know you're going to get a yellow card. Well, they didn't want that because you don't know in a real match. Could be a yellow, could be nothing, could be you're sending off. You know, who knows? 
So yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff to, to really go through because they have really, really been working very, very deep uh, behind the scenes with this whole broadcast feel. I mean, you can see it. There, I've seen. I think I've seen more cutscenes in this whatever you want to call it deep dive type trailer than I've ever seen in a Pez game or any football game. FIFA has a lot of cutscenes. I do like them. Sometimes they're kind of pointless, but you know that's also with cutscenes, you are going to skip a lot of them. Uh, but someone like myself, I do enjoy, especially offline when you're playing those big matches, cup games, you want to see uh, the broadcast camera and the broadcast feel. So moving on a little bit further, obviously this is not how the game's going to look. This is with all the, uh, you know, predetermined lines and programming. And one thing I did like there, actually, if you look at it, is the ball physics. If you watch the way that ball moves as it hits the post, it goes very nice, very, very nice. And remember, folks, this is a brand new game, okay? You can kind of take this game as eFootball, if I'm being honest with you. When they launch this game, it is going to be the exact same boat as when Konami launched eFootball. Free to play, so you don't have to charge anything. I think it's going to be online only. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to compare the two. And I'm not really being harsh against Konami, but I feel like UFL is going to have a much better launch. Uh, from the marketing side of things, the way they've done these videos, the way they're showing us the game in its raw state all the way up to the polished state, I think you can get to the grips with the fact that UFL is going to be a, a more refined game than eFootball was. Uh, I mean, the gameplay still, it does look... I mean, you can tell, it's, it's once again... You can't really compare like FIFA and eFootball and UFL because they all look completely different. From UFL's gameplay, I'm getting more of an eFootball pitch vibe, right? Everything's a lot more spread out. It looks like more of a... You're playing in a whopper of a stadium, whereas eFoot... Not eFootball, we keep getting the names wrong. FIFA is more condensed, right? And everything sometimes feels like it's on top of each other. UFL... They seem to like they've almost gone the Pez way and they've looked at Pez before this and said, mm, all right, let's make it a little bit more spacious so we can play football. Uh, they did mention the whole sort of arcade versus sim. And once again, they spoke about how they can't make it a true sim because it would be too boring. I don't really think that's the case. I quite like real simulation type football games. Uh, but then they can't also make it arcadey because they did mention it just becomes too ridiculous and it turns into a non-football game, right? It's just too, too fast. So they're going to find a balance. They're going to find some sort of a balance. Looking at the goalkeeping animations as well. Look very, very, uh, you know, solid. Mocap spoke to Konami about this. Mocapping, getting more and more animations in a game makes it look that much fresher and better. Now, regarding these skeletons that we're talking about, just quickly here. So the left side, right? This was the Skeleton 2.0. This was before. This is what they would have shown us before. Now they've upgraded to the 3.0 model. And as you can see, you're getting like double the amount of bones per skeleton. Uh, props bones, improved twist bones. You've got scale bones and then all this muscle bones as well. So these are things that they've in turn increased, added, enhanced. Uh, and you can tell that the players definitely look miles better from what we first saw. That's why you never really, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, as they say, because you're never really going to get the full fledge uh, of a game until they have added all the tech uh, that's always been improved, right? You've got the Unreal Engine 5 coming out at some point, or it is out. Whether they'll transition that over, I'm sure they will at some point. Uh, when it comes to the models themselves, as you can see, they're all different heights. Konami, take note. They don't all have to be the same. Uh, so they've got all these different models that some might be four foot 11, some might be seven foot. You know, they're all different. Uh, and then they show you the different bones and the way that players can morph themselves and all that fun stuff. Showing the, uh, the running animations. I love to see it because you don't understand how... Well, you do understand, but you don't realize how complex and difficult it is to create a football game. It isn't that simple as to just go diddly diddly diddly, right, we're done. No, 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 you've got so many different attributes, so many different elements that of course have to come together. You can see the way players are moving with the ball. It looks quite nice. And honestly, I'm really actually quite looking forward to playing this game just to test it out. Because I, I think in a few years' time, maybe not next year when it launches, but in a few years, they keep polishing this, refining this, developing this game. 
it could be up there, you know, and it will depend on obviously the licensing and how much they can put into this. But ultimately, folks, quite a nice little trailer to put out or the journey deep dive, should I say. They really did capture a lot of this. And even that, I think it was really nice for them to show you the difference uh, between the before and after, right? So you can see just the level of difference. That's obviously the old animation, looks bare bones. Uh, and then you've got them when they've added everything. The stadium, obviously, even the nets themselves look better. The poles look more defined. Um, but great to see before and after. You know, the smallest thing like there, a little bit of sweat on the old neckety deckety. Uh, what else do we have? There's the difference between the old and the new. Actually, I don't think the old looks that bad there, to be honest. But yeah, you know, the little things. I mean, you can see the creases in the shirt are moving a little bit as well and all that. So um, there we have it. That's UFL, cutscenes, AI, and skeletons. And they did talk about the AI as well. So go check out the original. It is like 26 minutes, but I wanted to just show you guys the actual things with just gameplay related and talk about that. But let me know your thoughts below. We will be back this week, folks, with FIFA career mode. I will get back to it. I've actually been playing the World Cup mode. I, I just had to relax this weekend and just do nothing because I was worn out from last week. And then I will have a video coming out about eFootball. Just people have to realize what's happening with the game and deal with it. Simple as that. If you can't deal with it, well, there's other options, FIFA or this game. Anyway, we'll be back shortly. Until next time, leave a comment and take care.